I was researching minestrone soup recipes, and I noticed that a lot of them, they look like it's just a marinara sauce mixed with a chicken stock. So I figure, I have leftover meat sauce, I have chicken stock homemade, so why don't I mix those two together and make a quick minestrone? I always have frozen homemade chicken stock. I love making that. I was supposed to get white beans. I actually got garbanzos, so I guess there'll be garbanzos in my soup. Um, I have tomato paste that I like in the tube because it lasts longer, and a whole pile of my leftover meat sauce. I'm going to brown the tomato paste a bit. That always improves the flavor. And I'm going to add some of my frozen onion that I have saved over here as well. So that should give me a nice base to start with for my soup. Well, my tomato paste and onions are ready. I added a little bit of red pepper flake and, of course, salt and pepper as always. And now, in goes my frozen <laughs> stock. Oh, it's all steamy. Um, so I'll let that melt down and then I'll have the beef. Can I just say, <clears throat> just the onion, tomato paste, and broth have made a lovely little tomato, uh, very light tomato broth. So that could be used for lots of different things, including just by itself. Such a light tomato broth. Anyway, in goes the beans, next in the meat. And now goes in enough meat sauce to make this a, uh, a good soup. But I want to save enough of this meat stuff, meat so that I can make my baked pasta later this week. All right, in it goes. All right, that's looking legit and tasting amazing. Um, it's about a serving and a half. So to bulk this up to a two serving thing so I can use one today and one tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and add some canned green beans. I think that'll take it to the rest of the way. I cut my green beans in half to make them a bit more soup friendly. And now into the pot they go. Nice and simple. Probably should have used a scooper, but you know, I only have one hand when I'm making these videos, so bear with me. My soup is done. It, uh, it went a little longer and a little hotter than I planned, so I lost a bit to evaporation, but still plenty of soup. I added a dollop of cream. That's not so traditional for a minestrone, but I felt like trying it anyway. So here we go. Mmm. Okay, so first off, I don't think I'd add the cream again, so you can skip that step, but wow. Adding a homemade marinara to a homemade chicken stock, phenomenal. You have got to try this. It's legit. All right, so in conclusion, save your leftover marinara sauce. You go to a restaurant, they give you a lot of red sauce on some thing you order. Not a lot to make a whole meal with. Soup it, veggie it, a whole nother meal. So save it. Do it.